here with another Lawn Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today we are using a Birdie Told Me Harold ABC's Critters on the Farm, Critters in the Forest, and Critters in the Burbs, and Interlocking Backdrops too. And we are creating in honor of Simon Says Stamp's 10th birthday and their Stamp Timber event. I'm using some tumbled glass ink and some broken china ink to create a fun sky. I love using distress inks for sky. I put them on really lightly on some white cardstock and a bit of the white shows through and it really gives this really pretty sky, blue clouds kind of look. I just used a little bit of broken china which is the darker blue on the edges just to give some dimension. And now I'm taking that same idea but applying it to grass with shabby shutters and peeled paint. And I love distress inks because you can kind of just get ink and have fun and keep layering them until you really like how it looks. So I added some peeled paint there on the edges. This is the herringbone from our interlocking backdrop set and I love this for creating really bold backgrounds on for your cards but I also like it to add texture to things like grass. So I'm using the Shabby Shutters ink and just stamping this fun herringbone all over my grass piece and you'll see it just adds this kind of cool look to it and just a little bit of something extra to that grass. I'm using a Fiskars um, grass punch here to get that cute grass on there and you can see that fun dimension with the interlocking backdrops. Now I'm using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp out the critters I showed in the beginning and also some word bubbles from the new A Birdie Told Me set which I just love for making critters talk. I just think it's adorable. And so we've got all our images and some fun Copic coloring now. This is C1, C4, and C8. I just love coloring with Copics. I think that coloring, there's something relaxing about it, and you just can kind of add colors and blend it until it makes you happy. There's no right or wrong way. It's just fun and crafty. So I went ahead and colored all of my critters in, but I thought it might be fun to show a way to get more out of your Copics. I just don't have a reddish brown color, so I thought I'll just make one. So I took my R14 and I'm layering that red on top of the already colored in brown with E57 on the fox. So I'm going to layer the red all over over the entire fox image and then take that E57 brown again and layer that on top and it's going to give that awesome reddish brown crittery fur color for the fox. You'll see that some of the red shows through more than in other places and it really gives a fur look. I just love doing this with copious and inks. It's just blending them and mixing and matching them together. Here is a white gel pen. Whenever I have white images, uh, white, excuse me, white parts of stamped images, I like to color them in with a white gel pen to make them really stand out. It kind of adds some texture too since the white gel pen kind of bubbles up on top of each other and it just looks nice and bright. When I cut out my images, it's never perfect. You can see all the little white pieces around and I want it to look like I could cut, I cut it exactly perfect. So I like taking a black marker and lining the images. And I do it, uh, my friend Ivy taught me to do it from the, the back part of the cutout image. That way if you twitch, you'll do just do a streak across the back and not on the front of your pretty colored out stamped image. But I just go and line it all around with that marker and now it looks like I cut it out perfectly. So it's kind of a fun trick. Here is the Herald's ABCs. I love how all of the rectangles line up, so it's really easy to spell out any kind of custom sentiment, which is really cute in these word bubbles. And I'm just stamping in some cough syrup, uh, Jenny Bolin red ink, and my fun happy birthday to you sentiment there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start putting together my card. That's some uh, red striped paper there from our Dewey Decimal paper collection. I, I just thought it would be nice and bright and happy for the card. And now this is my favorite part, which is putting the whole card together, just kind of going and adding in my critters and placing everything. And I like to get everything perfect. And then I add my adhesive on there. And I'm going to use some foam adhesive for the word bubbles and then some rolled up blue dots are under the critters to give them a little bit of dimension, but not as much as the word bubbles. It's kind of, I like playing with glue dots and foam dots that way. I thought there was a little too much space in the top, so I'm adding this cute little dragonfly from uh, Critters in the Forest, and I just did some really quick Copic coloring with two shades of green and blue, and then a little glue dot behind him was the perfect addition to the card. And then I thought I would add some white stitching there with a white gel pen at the end. It's really subtle, but it kind of finishes off the card, and it helps those, kind of matches with those white word bubbles too. I think this card would be adorable for any person of any age for their birthday. I think it would just make anybody smile. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!